G'day guys and girls, how you going? It's your boy Jable1990 and welcome to a pretty awesome tutorial for you guys today. This is for anyone who wants to install a minimap or any certain mod on their computer for Minecraft 1.6. I know this has been really confusing, especially to me. Uh, but before we talk about this, I just apologize if the quality is really bad and if the audio is out of sync. My fraps isn't wanting to um, isn't wanting to agree with me right now, so I'm having to go through XSplit and use it use different resources so I apologize about that so um, I've been getting asked a lot about how to install Zan's minimap or Ray's minimap or some mods and things like that for 1.6 considering the update and how everything has changed so what I'm gonna try to do is explain the best I can the easiest way I can to be able to show you guys what you need to do to be able to install some mods so if I just quickly come into my Minecraft stuff, which there is a lot of them, I'm just going to quickly find my Zans minimap, which is uh, the latest one for 1.6.2. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. For this particular example, I'm going to be using Zans minimap 1.6.2. So if any of you guys want to use Zans minimap, check the link in the description, follow that details, download it, and put it on your desktop just like this. Or I'll have uh, a different download to Ray's minimap if you would like to do Ray's. It's the exact same process. So let's talk about it from the start so we can try to stick together and we won't get confused. First of all, what we're going to do is open our 1.6 launcher. Everybody should look the same. You're going to get this little window. They have changed it though from what I've noticed. It must be from the, uh, the 18th to the 7th, 2013. They have changed the launcher just a little bit. So it might confuse you guys. It may not. So instead of the profiles being up here in the top right hand corner where they were, now they're down here on the left. So we just want to look at this screen for a second. So what we can see down at the bottom profile is that we've got one that we have selected or created. If you have one called default, click new profile and name it. And then click save profile and it should select it as a default. So this is the launcher itself we can come up here and come up to profile editor if we have many different profiles so if you guys have already installed a few things or if you've made a different a bunch of different profiles what I'd like you to do is just to create a new profile just so we can stick together so once we've done that what we want to do is we want to hit play and just run the minecraft okay we want to start up the jar file which is going to load up 1.6.2 so that's completely loaded now let's close it again that gets a little bit confusing I know so what we want to do is open this up again and we just want to leave this open for a second so now that we've got minecraft and what what we did then when we started up minecraft it loaded up all the files in the minecraft.jar file so what we want to do now is you guys need to follow exactly what I'm going to do I'm just going to minimize this we're going to come down here to the start menu and most people put in percent app data percent so it's going to you know you got percent app data percent but if you guys have already done this I don't know I just want to show you guys this really quick little trick if you guys have already done that a few times instead of typing that in every single time just type run and hit enter it comes up automatically it's just so much quicker I believe so you're gonna come up to the very top folder in this um, particular window that you open up called dot minecraft double click that and we're gonna have all these bunch of different folders we don't want to worry about any of them except we're gonna scroll down until we see this one right here called versions we want to double click this and you can see now that we started up Minecraft we have a 1.6.2 jar. So what we want to do is double click this and come into this here. This right here is the 1.6.2 jar file. Some of you guys on your computer it might look like this. Dot jar. It might have the dot jar on the end of it. Mine doesn't need to because it already recognizes it as a jar file so you can see there. Executable jar file. What we want to do is we want to click and drag and highlight both of these files. We either want to right click and click copy, or you can do the typical control C, which copies it as well. So now that we've got those two copied, what you want to do is come back. So you want to come back into the versions, you want to right click and say new folder. So what we want to do, we want to name this one 1.6.2 with an extension of your choice. So what I'm going to do without any dots, without any spaces, I'm going to name it Zans. So it's 1.6.2 Zans. That's it. So you want to click that. See how it's, now it says the folder is empty. But don't forget that we copied those two files before. So we want to right click and click paste. So virtually all we've done here is copied this exact folder. We've just named it differently. 
So now that we've got this named as 1.6.2 Zans, what we need to do is come into this folder, and now that we've got these two files, we need to rename them as well. So we're just going to click this once, and we're going to go right past the two without any capitals, exactly the same way we did it before. We're going to name it Zans. Excellent. So you can see the jar file moved down now because it goes in alphabetical order, so it brings it down. So with this, this other file, which is a, a JSON file, um, which is just like a text file, you can use uh, Notepad if you guys have Notepad on your computer. I use Notepad++. So you can either just click Open, which will um, open it with, uh, you can select Notepad, but I'm going to use Notepad++. So this is where it might get a little bit confusing. If you guys don't know what Notepad++ uh, is, I'll leave a link to the description down below as well which you can go and download it it's just virtually notepad but better so what we're looking for here you sh this should still be similar in notepad is up here the ID you guys should be able to see that the ID which is 1.6.2 we just want to come right past the 2 and we want to rename that to Zans as well or to whatever your extension is so picture this just like that jar file but we want to name it Zans come up to file click save and it should be pretty good. So now, in this JSON file, we actually have it named, we actually have it um, in that JSON file, 1.6.2 Zans as well. So what we want to do just for safety reasons is right past the two again. So before the dot, we want to name it Zans as well. So now it looks pretty much in order, and that's pretty much sweet. So we've got all that set up. So before we go any further, what I'd like you guys to do is come back to where you see this dot minecraft folder so just hit back a few times so you should be here hit it back like once twice three times what I got what I want you guys to do is copy this folder and paste it somewhere on your desktop you can see that I've already done that here that's my copy and you can double click this and come down into your saves and I'd like you to do that as well so you could have it on your on your desktop and new folder and have it as backup or or something like that and just have have these folders um, copied and somewhere secure so you never want to lose them so just in case anything goes wrong which it really shouldn't you guys can always come back to this put that back in and your minecraft should be sweet so let's come back up uh, sorry let's go back down to our versions 1.6.2 Zans because we're going to be installing Zans minimap so now we've got the jar file what we want to do is select that now that we've got it selected if you guys have things like a uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip or things like that, it's going to help you out tremendously. So what you're going to want to do is right click it and click open with and I'm going to choose WinRAR because that's what I like to use. I don't have the paid one so every now and then I come up with this. You have to pay for this version. Okay, so this is where it gets really important and I need you guys to stick with me. So just uh, this is the this is the window of the 1.6.2 Zans jar file that is opened up now in WinRAR. So I'm just going to quickly minimize all of this, and we've got our Zans minimap folder, which you guys can download from the link in the description. We're going to do the same thing: open with WinRAR. I'm going to wait for this little message to come up, and we're going to open this to the right hand side, just so we don't get confused. But you can see the title up the top anyway. So what we want to do is we want to actually have both of these guys opened up at the exact same time. So on the left, don't forget, this is the Minecraft 1.6 jar file. This folder that's called MetaInf, you can either just select it and delete it, or select it, right click, and where to go, delete files. Okay, you want to find delete files and you want to delete this whole entire folder. So you should see MetaInf just completely disappear. That's exactly what we want to do. Now, all you need to do is come over here, this is the Zans Minimap jar file highlight and select all of the folders except for the very top one that's, that's labeled dot dot that's that's just a directory so we want to highlight these five folders click them and drag them in so just make sure that your mouse is over somewhere here so it's not actually over a folder make sure you don't do that just make sure it's in a blank spot over here and just drag it in so the way you can check to see that that's right is you can see that just here just here <laughs> that it's actually going into the 1.6.2 extension zans.jar so click OK and believe it or not guys that should be pretty much it so all you're going to want to do now is close all of this down come back to our minecraft 
uh, launcher and what you want to do is you want to click um, edit profile down here so whatever profile you have selected or created click edit profile and what you need to make sure is that you have the latest version selected okay so we're gonna do this once more we're gonna just click save profile we're gonna play through now listen to me very carefully here this isn't gonna work yet we need to start up this Minecraft so it, it reloads that jar file I'm gonna need to close it down again so make sure you guys do that we're gonna start it up but we're not gonna do anything we're gonna close it again so just start it up and close it again it's just acts like a refresh now let's start up 1.6 uh, launcher again it's gonna come up with our profile we're gonna click edit profile we're gonna come down to this drop bar again now you should see something different now we should see the 1.6.2 Zans extension that will only come to you guys when you refresh that Minecraft so that is very important so instead of using the latest version we want to click the drop box and we want to find our 1.6.2 Zans um, extension now the little option that we have so what that's going to do now is in the Minecraft launcher the Minecraft itself it is now selecting this these jar files originally it was just selecting the default 1.6.2 jar file this one right here so now what we've done by refreshing minecraft is we've selected this 1.6.2 zans jar file for example so you want to click that make sure you have that one selected or whatever the extension is that you name click save profile and play now with any luck if we start up a normal game we're going to my server launch it up and now you can see that uh, down the, on the top right hand screen we have Zan's minimap installed so isn't that just awesome so I hope this tutorial has helped you guys I know it gets a little bit confusing at times I had I had a really tough time trying to figure this thing out and um, that's why I decided to make this tutorial to help you guys out you can see that Zan's minimap is fully working so um, See, woohoo! <laughs> Zan's minimap is, mini is fully working, and th this is how you got to do it. It's really tricky sometimes, but um, it, it helps. And um, if you guys are looking to install any other minimap, like Ray's minimap or any other different type, you do it the exact same way. So please, guys, add this video to your fav favorites. Leave a like and help spread the word about this video. And I hope it did help. If you guys would like to see any more tutorials and other different mods and stuff to install please let me know in the comment section down below thank you for watching guys and i shall see you guys next time